Good afternoon and welcome to Georgia. Today I feel it is time for something different. Instead of simply just shooting down a lot of Russian hardware, I felt it was time to fly a bit of Russian hardware. Chevy 1, an upper traffic, uh, taxi runway 04. Now, the SU 25 may need a bit of an introduction. Airplane geeks will know it, mostly because it is uh, usually described as the counterpart of the plane I have right in front of me, namely the A 10. However, the SU-25 have a few differences compared to the A-10. One of them being that the SU-25 is more of a general ground attack aircraft and was not specifically designed with come close airport in mind. So, like the A-10, it excels in the row. The SU-25 has also been wildly exported and something you may not know is that most of the SU-25's initial production run was actually made in Georgia, in an airplane plant that, as far as I know, still produces SU-25's, now NATO compatible. Uh, this also led to a bit of an interesting event during the 1993 war when the separatist forces Napa traffic, Uzi 41, turning final runway 22 were supported by Russian forces, and the Russians flew Su-25s in support of the separatists. Now, when the Georgian government said, hey, this could be, you know, an act of war, the Russians said, nah, those Su-25s, they're just, you know, Georgian Air Force Su-25s that have been repainted with Russian insignia. Whereupon the world collectively rolled their eyes and basically said, yeah, right. And, of course, pointing out the rather blatant fact that uh, these uh, supposedly Georgian Su-25s could fly unhindered in Russian airspace. So it was uh, pretty much... The Russians basically had to pick between uh, admitting incompetence or just admitting that they were helping the separatists against Georgia. A similar event happened when an airliner was shot down over Ukraine, and uh, in their attempt to hide the fact that one of their SAM launchers had done the deed, they tried to claim that a uh, Ukrainian Su-25 had climbed to... ...had uh, actually shot down the airliner. Now, there is uh, a couple of problems with this story, and the primary one being that the SU-25 can only be equipped with uh, self-defense air defense missiles, meaning that they are heat-seeking, they would have gone for the engines, and the hit was not in the engine. And the fact that the Su-25 basically flies like a brick. Now, that is an unfair comparison. I will apologize to all the bricks out there. A brick will reliably fly from your hand onto the ground in a straight line. The Su-25, way down with electronics and armor and lord knows what, uh, is not as reliable. When it comes to that, in fact, but uh, basically the. So there are basically 26 players on Georgia at war right now, meaning that uh, traffic is a bit dense since we are all basically sharing a single runway. So there's a Viggen uh, right in front of me, and an A-10 on the taxiway ahead of me. Hey. 
So we'll see when the A10 have uh, taxi clearance. Most likely he'll wait for the Vigan to get out of our hair, as it were. At any rate, the SU-25 is an interesting challenge when it comes to flying in DCS. And most of it is because it basically hugs the ground, but despite this, can survive rather well. I can only assume Chevy 32 is the guy in front of me, because I can't actually see anyone else currently going for a runway. And up a traffic Chevy, Chevy 1 taking off runway 04. Now, I should notice that anything I use here, from the DCS World client to the radio software to the airplane, is free. You want to fly the SU-25T yourself and do what I am going to do now. That means shoot a stuff, bunch of stuff and then most likely get shot down. Uh, you can do that. And you can do that with more power to you. And the SU-25T is a fairly easy aircraft to learn to fly. And pretty fun to just blast stuff on a server like this where you cooperate against a computer controlled enemy. And up a traffic Chevy 1 takeoff will push Red Crown off the takeoff. Runway's clip. So our mission objective on this map is to engage enemy forces and take Maycop airfield. We're not even close to actually taking Maycop, instead we are currently battling close to the town of Krasnodar. This means our role will be mostly search and destroy missions to try and destroy SAM sites and uh, enemy forces. Now the A-10 will try and climb a bit more as his kin are bound to do. Well, I most likely will be leveling out soon enough. The only weapon I have that really uh, benefits from any sort of altitude is the beak gear. But uh, you should also be a bit aware that the SU-27... You basically only have one attempt to climb with it. It's not like a... It's not a like a jet fighter where you can change altitude at will or just pull up or something like that and suddenly be on 200 meters or stuff like that. At some point you are going to have a hard time pushing altitude and basically you are going to have to make sure that your altitude gain is as quickly off the takeoff as possible so you can maintain a decent cruise altitude. So we leave an app behind us, and uh, we should be trying to consider a target. I think uh, Sam Archangel could be a decent one. There's also uh, enemy forces up here at the BAI Subaru. But I prefer to be engaging something more along the center line here. We also have a bunch of helicopters on the field right now. And I wish I could filter out the AWACS traffic, actually. I'm going to see if I can do that. No active radio beacons. And uh, basically, we have to make do with the fact that we hear the AWACS calls as well. So we are going to 
even out right here. We are going to. Uh, traffic is Yeah, you can see yourself how busy an app is right now. So, we are going to turn on our uh, intelligence gathering pod, our SIGINT pod. This thing will tell us where there are air defense radars. However, since we are moving slower than a Russian on vodka, we have a bit of a problem here. And that is, it's gonna take us a while to get to the objective area. Meanwhile, we can actually make sure that our I, our systems are working properly, and they are. You can note, see yourself on the HUD here. And this is a feature of the Su-25 that I really like. Uh, most other aircraft would force you to use a disc screen to aim your missiles. And while this is advantageous in several areas, for example, you can see much better what it is you're doing. Locking via this screen means you have better pop-up uh, abilities to just find something and lock onto it. This is especially nice considering the fact that the uh, in sig SIGINT uh, gathering pod will show radars and stuff like that on the screen for you. And that makes it very easy to uh, just put a Vikir on target. That said, the Vikirs are fairly short range. They're really designed to engage tanks. So right now we don't actually have anything straight ahead of us. Uh, I'm a bit curious about Archangel because we really should have Archangel on sensors, but we don't. Archangel is basically just beyond this lake and almost at the next one. So um, I've actually no idea why we can't see it. Of course, it's good. Uh, the simple solution, simple answer is most likely that uh, any enemy radars in the area have been destroyed. And if so, the, the only thing that remains for us is cleanup. However, we also have a position here, BAI Freeman. Uh, as well as a FARP here in the region, but it also looks like these uh, are already contested by other attack aircraft. We also have fighter cover from F-15s, and this was actually a Harrier, it seems. So I'm going to keep on looking, uh, see if we can detect something on the ground here. I got nothing. So basically, off to the town and next to the snake like river. Yeah, I get the feeling we are actually looking in the right area, so, but I still don't have any ETS 
Any ETS information? What we're doing right now is fairly dangerous. I would not prefer to Overlord, do it this way. Uzi, six, but uh, right now we are basically provoking the enemy to open fire at, at us. Uzi, six, one. Bra, two, two, seven, four, at and once they have done so, we will know where they are. So we're gonna pull up and veer away. I want to see if I can get a visual before they open fire. If there is any any enemy units still there, there might actually not be. Because I can't... If there are any enemy units Spot down there, I can't see them. Overlord, Colt, 7-1. Request bogey dope. Yeah, Colt, I think we can assume Overlord, this target is an ogre. That there are no more targets in the in this area. Chevy one one overlord pop up group one two seven four ten at two. Because I don't see cold. shit here. Uh, wait, I do see shit, but basically it's already bombed the shit. Overlord, so we can assume cold. that seven, site has already been be taken dope. care of. Okay, so we have we have uh, Sam Uzelis, which seems to be under attack by one of my mates. We can see if he needs any assistance. So basically, we are currently in a one big loiter pattern here. Okay, target should be by the bend of the river. Uh, basically... Yeah, I can see the fires. So we are going to switch weapon to the V-Gears. Yeah, I can see where he's firing right now. Oh crap, I actually accidentally switched to guns. And the V-Gear away. There's a friendly helicopter down there. Okay, so our helicopter buddy down there seems to be doing fairly fine on his own. Uh, that's not a friendly aircraft. That MiG-29 is most likely the enemy. Unknown uh, Huey at my position. We got company up here. One MiG. Yeah, it looks like that MiG is a uh, goner. All right, let's go in with guns on this on this position right here. Guns, guns, guns. Overlord, 
be dope. I think we got at least two unhit vehicles there. We're coming about and following that helicopter. It should be noted in case. Uh, uh, no mind. I don't know how many of those are actually down for the count, and how many are actually act. Yeah, the all of them are out, out of it. No reason for us to engage. Engine one run straight target crack pipe is out of triple A's, but I believe there's still some armor here, and I can't deal with it. Should we copies? Uh, we'll engage uh, any remaining armor. Tally Avengers, Zero thanks for your help. Basically, uh, the Kiwi pilot just reported in to us that uh, he, he has destroyed all that he can. But uh, there are also friendlies on the ground that we might want to be careful with. So we're going to do another run here, see if we can... Uh, demolish some of the remaining armor targets, if any. Uh, we are going to have a look see. Yeah, all targets seems to be destroyed here. Um, what? A those should be our Avengers right there, yeah. Those are our Avengers, and... Yeah, I would call crack pipe secure. I don't think there's anything to be gained by sticking around crack pipe right now. If there is one target I would suspect of being alive, it's this one. Pull up. Pull up. Yeah, but they're all dead. So I think we've wasted a bit of gun ammo by just scaring up some corpses. Alright, so let's keep moving to BAI Freeman. Uh, that should be So let's just array ourselves in a decent manner and see start looking for the enemy. Turn off our gun. They should be close to that town up ahead to the right. Yeah, I can actually see the boss. That's Splash one. Easy B one. Boxer. I can see no wait, that's a radio mass. I actually Chevy thought it was gunfire. Overlord. Bra zero six six four forty at six thousand hot. Ah, there is one. Got a boss. Splash. Or not, because I just engaged the entirely wrong target. Uh, whatever I engaged, I don't know what it is, but the target is actually right there. So switching to rockets and uh, hoping I do better now. I actually, I mean, it's a bit embarrassing with that big of a misidentification now when I actually have tools at my disposal, but. 
No visual. Well, let's see if they start shooting at us. There they are. They actually started shooting at us with man pads. But okay, I have a clear target for my rockets now. The tree line. So, accidentally let a couple of rockets loose the wrong way, but let's come around. Chevy 1, BAI Freeman has man pads rolling in now. Targets are in the tree line. Let's pop our countermeasures. Passing waypoint two at eighteen thousand. Overlord Uzi six one. Request bogey dope. Uzi six one. Overlord Bra zero five eight four forty five at twenty five thousand knots. Well, hopefully that should have taught them some manners. Apparently someone wants to be start making a push on Crossadar Center. Let's go around again and make sure that place is really, really safe for... And make sure they do not try that man pad shit again on me. Alright, moving in with rockets. And that's all the rockets we had left. Stay well on common channel, Rocky 1 1 radio check. Okay, so we basically Rock have uh, SE FOP and a bunch of BAI Orlandos in the other direction. We might want to check out Orlando actually. There's a lot of burning stuff right there, but just because some of it is burning doesn't mean that everything is burning. So we're gonna array ourselves to have a look at it. And of course we should... Yeah, there we go. Overlord, Uzi, two, one. Request bogey dope. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. So, let's put our reticule. Come on, reticule. I need you right now. Thank you. There's a lot of bombed out shit on the ground there. Uh, can't really... See if there's. Can't actually see if there's any that actually warrants my attention right now. Someone really did a number on this fucking shit. Yeah, I think we can assume everything relevant here is dead and buried. Uh, let's see if we can't find that enemy fop. Yeah, there it is. And uh, see if there is uh, tangos right there. Possible tango. But I think that tango is actually dead already. Let's just fire a, a missile at it for practice and we missed, of course. 
But the fob is secure, there's nothing left here for us to kill. Chevy 1-1, Overlord, Bra, 107-460, at 17,000, hot. Uh, so, we are apparently pushing Krasnodar. So we might as well see what we can find in terms of troops there. All units be advised, the uh, southeast FOP is clear. Let's push an altitude. We have a couple of V gears left, so I intend to use them before we head back to base. Okay, I see green smoke for friendly targets. We also have at least one bridge in the region. I don't want any enemy forces to go over that bridge, so... We have better airlifting power than the enemy, so... Let's send a beaker on the bridge, see if we can take it down. Hit on the bridge! However, the missile's warhead was not enough to destroy it. However, most likely we can inconvenience any traffic over the bridge. That'll have to do for now. We can also roll in Krasnodar Center and see if we have any targets in the region. Cold 7 1, Fox 3. Cold 7 1, Fox 3, repeat. That copter pilot really has balls of steel. We need to make sure that uh, there are no targets in the immediate vicinity here. Possible targets. Switching to guns. Yeah. Unknown Huey. We got uh, machine guns at the end of the runway. Shirkas. Sam launch, Sam launch. This is Sam Country, boy. Say again, Crescentor Century, Sam Country. All right, so we are leaking That's to you. I'm on the deck. Overlord, Uzi, two, one. Request bogey dope. Uh, we are leaking Uzi, fuel at an um, frankly alarming one, zero, rate, seven, but four, considering the amount of hits, Uzi, six, one, considering fuel, the um, fifteen hundred. Yeah, we are fucked on fuel. But I'm gonna have my revenge. I'm going to at least get one of these suckers. Let's lock on to that Shirka down there. Colt 7 1, request for window. Overlord, pop up group 0894. Colt 7 1, Overlord, bra 0904. Fire! God damn it, we missed the guy. 
We are still leaking fuel at a rather uncomfortable rate. I don't like this at all. We took another hit. God damn it. This thing is durable. I give it that if I have to say anything about it, it's that it's durable. I mean, we've taken so many goddamn Sam hits right now, so. We're leaking a bunch of fuel and we're on fire. Anyone else can see the problem with this combination right here? Alright, we still have decent uh, hydraulics and everything like that, so I'm gonna try... And of course we blew up in the air. We blew up in the air. I'm not really surprised.